full body bar class today. So you're gonna need a couple of pieces of equipment. You're gonna to wanna to use a set of light weights. These are two pounders. Um, if you don't have light weights, cans of beans or filled water bottles are fantastic replacements. You can absolutely go body weight. Go ahead and set the weights off to the side. The other thing you're gonna to need today are two sliders. Now, I don't actually have traditional sliders at home. So if you're on a wood floor, anything like dish towels, <laughs> or a washcloth, um, anything like that, like that will do great on hardwood. If you're on carpet, go ahead and grab something really smooth. Um, paper plate, frisbee, magazines, hardcover books, any of that that gives you that gliding across the carpet is perfect. So go ahead and take your weights and set them over to the right side of your mat, just off the edge of your mat here. So they're out of your way for now. You may want to roll your mat up for a little bit of cushion and a little bit more space on either side of the ends or you can keep it long, whatever you prefer, come on down to the floor. I'm gonna start on my knees. If being on your knees is not comfortable for you, you're more than welcome to start seated here. Just take a second, maybe close your eyes. Take a big breath. Shake out your shoulders, shake out your hands, and just let yourself arrive here in this moment on your mat for these next 40, 45 minutes. Let the shake of your hands go. When you're ready, you can open your eyes if they're closed. Inhale, sweep the left arm up and over, big side stretch. As you exhale, I want you to curve the upper back, round the spine, and roll all the way over to a side stretch. Reaching to the left, and then come on up. Reverse that, inhale, it's the right arm that comes up and over. Exhale, round, spreading between the shoulder blades, come all the way up. And over. Two more like that. Inhale, big side stretch. Exhale, round through the spine, all the way around. Last time, inhale up and over. Exhale, round, curve, and come up. Inhale, sweep that left arm up and over, find that side stretch. Now from here, I want you to lift up high on the knees, extend the left leg long, aiming down to the outer edge of that left foot and really opening up the whole left side body. Push down through that right chin and lift the hips up. And then extend energy through the left fingers and out the outer edge of the left foot. Big breath in. On your exhale, find your balance and float that left leg up. Draw the left knee to the left elbow as you exhale. Inhale, reach. Exhale, pull. Inhale, reach. Two more. Just firing up through the abdominals. Firing up through that supporting glute. Last one. Hold that extension, big inhale. Exhale, rotate all fours. Hands come onto your mat. Now spread the fingers really wide and push the mat away here. So you really spread through the shoulder blades. Push down to the tops of the feet. And as you take a big inhale, I'm gonna lengthen the sides of your waist. On your exhale, feel the sides of your waist pull in as the front low rib cage knits together and draws upward towards the ceiling. So you're really strong through the abdominals, nice neutral through the pelvis and through the spine. Now on your inhale, we need to squeeze your shoulder blades together and allow your heart to lower down towards the mat. As you exhale, we need to press the mat away, spread your shoulder blades wide and really draw the back side of the rib cage up to the ceiling. So it's inhale, shoulder blades squeeze. Exhale, press the mat away, shoulder blades spread wide. Keep going like that. Now really simple movement here, but it is also really challenging to keep your abdominals in alignment, to keep your spine in alignment. So draw the sides of the waist in, continue to knit the front low ribs together and draw them up. And as your shoulder blades squeeze together, notice if you're arching in your low back. Really draw the abdominal wall up to help lengthen the low back. Two more. Inhale, squeeze the shoulder blades in. Exhale, press it away. Last one, inhale. Exhale, hold that press away, tuck your toes, and without changing the shape of anything, just hover your knees one inch off the mat. So now you're asking your abdominals to do a lot more work for you. Push down through all 10 finger pads, press the mat away as you spread your shoulder blades wide, and then continue to lengthen the sides of the waist, and use your exhale to draw the abdominals in. You're gonna lift the hips high in four, down dog in three, 
Down dog in two. Lift the hips high, downward dog. Big inhale. Big exhale. Lift the heels up. Hover the knees one more time, coming back into that bare plank. Exhale, lift the hips high. Press the heels down to the mat. Inhale, lift the heels. Hover the knees, bare plank. Exhale, lift the hips. And find your downward dog. Two more. Inhale, lift the heels. Hover the knees. Exhale, press the hips up. And reach them back the last time. Heels lift. Knees hover. Hips high. Downward dog. Now one last time. Tap the knees all the way down to the mat. Rotate to face me. And anchor down through that left hand. Inhale, sweep the right arm up and over. Big side stretch. Come up on high on that left knee. Extend the right leg out and anchor down to the knife edge of that right foot. Soften the right shoulder and really open up here to the whole right side body. Inhale. Exhale. Now shift that bottom supporting hand as you need to find your balance. Big breath in. And as you exhale, float that right leg up. Inhale, reach arm and leg away. Exhale, pull elbow knee. Inhale, reach. Exhale, pull. Inhale, reach. Exhale, pull, gorgeous. Last one, inhale, reach. Exhale, pull. Now we need to extend the arm and leg, reach. And then rotate over, taking your hands to your mat. And this time, extending the legs long, finding a high plank. Spread through all 10 fingers, and again, press the mat away. Now from here, take a big breath in, and as you exhale, I want you to float your right leg off the floor. Inhale, pull the right knee to the outside of the right elbow. Exhale, extend that right leg back, and tap the toes down. Left leg lift, left knee to the outside of the left elbow, left leg extend. The left toes down one more time, right leg pulls into the elbow, reach it out, and tap it down, left leg lifts. Pull it into the elbow, extend it out, and tap it down. Now just hold. Pull in through the energy of the thumbs, drawing them in towards each other, and then lengthen through the back of the neck. Big breath in, big breath out. You're here for four. You're here for three. You're here for two. Tap the knees down, all fours, one more time. Grab a weight. Take that weight into your right hand and extend the left leg out. Let the toes and the weight stay on the mat and are on the floor for just this moment. Push down through the top of your right foot and lengthen through the crown of the head so the back of the neck is nice and long. I want you to inhale, float the arm and leg up. As you exhale, I want you to pull up with knee, rounding the spine. Inhale, extend. Exhale, tap the floor with toes and weight. Inhale, lift. Exhale, curl. Inhale, reach. Exhale, tap, keep going. Lift and curl and reach and tap. One more as you lift, draw the abdominals in, extend and tap. Now lift arm, lift leg, hold it there. Little up, little lift, little lift. So my right thumb is pointing up to the ceiling. My left pinky toe is rotating down towards the mat, and I'm really squeezing through my left quadricep, so extend that left leg a little bit longer. Eight more, go eight, seven, six. You're here for four, three, two. I want you to hold that lift, inhale, and as you exhale, sweep that right arm back behind you, rotating your palm to face your right thigh. Pinky finger lifts up towards the ceiling. Take a big breath in. And as you exhale, pull the abdominals up to help maintain neutral in your lower back. Go a little up and a little up and a little up. So left leg and right arm start to take a little press up to the ceiling. Go a little squeeze, little squeeze. Now if at any point this is too much on that supporting wrist, you're absolutely welcome to come down to your left forearm here. Go eight, seven, six, you're here for four, three. I want you to hold that lift. Take your right arm, take your left leg, both of them are gonna go out six inches to the side and squeeze it back in the center. It's inhale open. 
and exhale, squeeze. Inhale, open, and exhale, squeeze. Now, as you open, could you get your arm and your leg a little bit straighter? And as you squeeze everything into midline, could you lift them a little bit higher? Two more. Inhale, open. Exhale, squeeze. Last one. Now I want you to hold the in and take a little bend in the elbow, a little bend in the knee. Now squeeze the tricep and squeeze the glute to lengthen everything. Let's go, bend, reach, bend, reach. Little bend, little reach, little bend, little reach. Extend, extend. Now notice here if you're trying to lift your chin and break the line at the back of the neck, really elongate through the tips of the ears. You're here for eight, seven, six, lift that right arm higher, four, three, two, set the weight and the leg down, child's pose. Press the hips back. Extend the arms out in front of you and feel free to circle the wrists around, shaking out that left arm and that left hand as you need. Big breath in here, big breath out. Inhale yourself back up to all fours. Switch, taking the weight into the left hand and extending that right leg behind you. Now take a moment here, keeping the weight down and keeping all five toenails on that right foot down. Press into the floor as you inhale. And on your exhale, really draw the low belly up, wrap the low ribs in, and soften the shoulders so you stay really long. Now inhale, float the arm and leg up. Exhale, elbow to knee, round the spine, spread the shoulder blades wide. Inhale, reach, and exhale, tap. As you lift, use the lift of the abdominals to help maintain your neutral position. Two more, inhale, lift. Exhale, round. Inhale, reach, and exhale, lower. Last one, it's inhale, up. It's exhale, round. It's inhale, reach. And exhale, lower, float the arm and leg up. Soften that left shoulder back and take a little lift, little squeeze, little squeeze. So left thumb is pointing up to the ceiling here. Right pinky toe is rotating down towards the mat. And now you're really squeezing through the right quadricep and the right glute. You're squeezing the left bicep and the left tricep. You're here for eight, seven, Six, you're here for four, three, two, inhale. Exhale, sweep that left arm back behind you. Rotating the left palm to face your left thigh. Left pinky finger lifts, little up, little up. Now you can obviously add the right leg, go little lift, little lift. If at any point this is too much on your wrist, again, come down to your forearm. And if you wanna take the leg out of it, feel free to do so. Go a little up, I probably should have said that on the first side. I'm so sorry. Hopefully you took whatever modification you needed. Go, eight, seven, extend the left arm longer, four, three, two, inhale. Exhale, left arm, right leg, go out six inches and squeeze it in. Inhale, open, exhale, squeeze and lift. It's inhale, open, it's exhale, squeeze. So challenging your balance, challenging your abdominals as you take the limbs out two more inhale you open exhale lift it higher last one it's inhale open hold the in take a little bend in that left elbow a little bend in the right knee and then squeeze the glute squeeze the tricep and lengthen let's go bend reach bend reach little bend little stretch little bend little stretch notice here if your rib cage is starting to flare open how your belly is dropping down towards the mat really push the mat away with your right palm. You're here for eight, seven, could you lift a little higher? You're here for four, three, two, tap that knee down, set the weight down, and one more time, child's pose. Again, feel free to shake out your right wrist, or your right arm as you need. Big breath in, big breath out. Roll on up, spin around to grab both weights, and take your feet onto your sliders. So the heels of your feet will each go on a slider and you'll take one weight inside either hand. Start by sitting tall here. And if you find that you're pretty tight in your hips and this is really uncomfortable, you can externally rotate for a little more space. Or you can roll your mat up 
to lift your hips a little higher. Now stay upright here and send the arms long in front of you. We'll rotate the palms to face the ceiling and then really allow the arm bones to soften back into the socket. Two count, you take a bicep curl. We'll reach it out. It's inhale in and exhale squeeze. So take a minute here with this pretty basic movement and maybe close your eyes. I promise I'm not going to do anything crazy. You're not going to miss anything. Check in with your alignment. If you have access to a mirror, this is a great time to use it. If you don't have access to a mirror, sometimes I actually think that can be an even better learning tool. You want to find that your ears are stacked over your shoulders. Your shoulders are stacked over your ribs. And your ribs are stacked over your hips. So for a lot of us here, we tend to lean back or to round in our low spine. If you find you don't have the hip flexibility to sit all the way upright, pause me and go ahead and roll up your mat. See if that helps. Two more, squeeze it in. Reach it out. Last one. Now I'm going to stop halfway out with the arms and just take a little press, little squeeze, little squeeze. Now take a moment and imagine I'm standing behind you and I'm pressing my leg along the length of your spine. So you're really sitting tall and allowing the heart to lift as the rib cage softens. Eight more, go. Eight, seven, six. You're here for four, three, two. I want you to hold that lift and just rotate the palms to face each other, a little hammer curl position. Now you're gonna extend the arms out to straight as slowly as you can. You go, four, three, two, one. You're gonna fold them in. Three, two, we're gonna add some abdominal work. You're gonna hinge it back, back, back. You're gonna lift it up. Two, three, four. So as you hinge back, I want you to feel like there's a fish hook through the back side of your belly button and it's pulling you back. Two, three, four. Lift it up. Two, three. You have two more like that. It's hinge. Two, three, four, and lift, two, three, you're gonna take it back, four, three, two, I want you to hold the back, again, soften the arm bones back into the socket, inhale, exhale, one more inch, left leg extends, left leg pulls in, it's a right leg extends, right leg pulls in, pick it up, go, left, right, little reach, little reach, now if the weights are too much, you can set them down, and you can hold the backs of your thighs here. That's a great option. If the weights are too much, but you want to keep your arms extended, that also absolutely works. You take it, left leg, right leg, go. Little reach, little reach. If you are not feeling this in your abdominals, couple things. Squeeze the sits bones together as you exhale. And feel the pelvic floor lift up. From there, you can always hinge back a little deeper. If this is all hips, Go and hold on back to your thighs. Go, a little reach, a little reach, yes. And as you hold the back to your thighs, you're gonna better be able to engage the low abdominals here. Go four, three, two, last one left, last one right. Now draw both heels in towards the seat as you inhale. As you exhale, send that left leg along and hold it there. Big breath in, big breath out, get one inch lower. Stay low. It's just your left elbow, that row and reach. Go row and reach. It's twist and reach. If you need support, set the weight in your right hand down and catch the back of the right thigh as you twist and reach. Go twist. My twist is coming not from my hips, but from my waist. Twisting and reach. So right bottom rib is twisting towards left hip bone. Yes, and then left elbow is squeezing back. Go four, three, two, last one. Inhale, exhale, bend that left knee in. If you set your weight down in your right hand, pick it up. Big breath in, big breath out. Right leg extends. Hinge back one more inch. Stay low. Right elbow takes that row. It's twist and reach. Go twist. And reach again for more support. Set the weight in your left hand down and catch the back of the left thigh. I'm gonna take that option because I felt really unstable, like I was rocking in my hips when I had both weights out. You take it, twist 
and reach. So now it's that left bottom rib reaching toward right hip bone. Squeeze and reach. Go squeeze. You have four more. Go. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Inhale. Exhale. Both knees bent. Pick that weight up in the left hand as an option. Beautiful. Take an inhale. Exhale. Hinge it back. Both legs out. Both legs in. Yes. Go both legs out. And both legs in. Exhale. Inhale. Three more. Exhale. Inhale. Use the exhale. Draw the abdominals in. Inhale. Lift the heart. Last one. Hold that leg extension. Rotate your palms up to face the ceiling. Let your arms open to a V shape. From here, go take a little press. Little press. Little press. Little press. Little press. Little press. So I'm strong and stable in my upper body. And I'm just lifting the arms up. Eight more times. Go eight, seven, six. You're almost there. Go four, three, two. Hold that. Inhale. Exhale. Rotate palms down. And go. A little curl. A little lift. A little lift. A little lift. So now my palms are facing the floor. And it's my heart that's curling up towards my toes. Low ribs are drawing back and down. You're here for eight, seven, six. You have a hold. In four, three, two, hold. Inhale. Exhale, scoop the low belly out and roll a little lower. Beautiful. Hold it here for four. You got this. For three, get lower. For two, find yourself all the way up. Set your weights to the side. You're done with them. Find your way to stand. You're going to want one slider with you as you bring yourself up to standing. I'm going to slide my mat slightly farther to the side so I have more space. Left foot is going to come onto the mat and right foot is going to come onto your slider. Now if you desperately want more arm work, go ahead and grab your weights. You can add weights in any time here. Square your hips to that left side wall and really press down to the left heel here. Draw the left hip bone back. Now as you slide your right foot back, you're going to bend that left knee and you're going to hinge your torso forward. So at your lowest point, your shoulders are going to stack over that front left knee. Draw the left hip bone back. Take a big inhale. Then as you exhale, I want you to initiate this movement by pushing down through your left heel and slowly bringing yourself all the way back up to stand. Just like that, we take it down. Two, three, four. Take it up. Two, three, four. It's lower. Two, three, four. Push through the heel to lift it up. Keep going. Now as you lower here, I want you to really feel one long line from the crown of the head all the way to those back right toes. So you're hinging forward as your right toes slide back and you're driving through that left heel, lifting the heart as to bring you up. Go down. Two, three, four. Take it lift. Two, three, three more like that. It's hinge. Two, left hip draws back. Push through that left heel to take you up. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Lift. Two. Last one. You're going to take it down. You're going to hold it. Two, three. Stay low. Feel your left hip pull back. Let your right hip bone draw forward and just come up an inch, down an inch. Little lift, little lower, little up, little down. To come up. I want you to push down through your left heel. So you drive down into the mat. And as you come back down, your left hip bone pulls back. So it's a really small range of motion here. Go eight, seven, six. You got this. Breathe. Go four, three, two. Now stay low in that left knee, right toes, stay light on your slider. Pull the right toes in, slide them out. Pull them in, well, I lost my slider, take them out. <laughs> Pull them in, take it out, yes. So my left knee is staying deeply bent here, 
and I'm trying to take very little weight into my right toes, which I am not demonstrating very well as I keep losing my slider. <laughs> Hands can be really wherever you feel comfortable. And if you have weights, you could extend them out in front of you. You could take triceps, whatever you need today. Four more, go in and reach. Three more, go in and reach. Left hip back, push that left heel. Last one goes in. Now I want you to hold the extension of the right leg. Now we're gonna do something a little bit different here, so stay with me, okay? You're gonna keep your left foot as it is. You're gonna pull the left hip bone back. Stay really low. Take a big breath in. Now on your exhale, I want you to rotate your pelvis open towards the right. So you're coming into a warrior two position. The only difference being I am still hinging my chest over my knee, my front left knee. From there, close the pelvis, so rotate the pelvis back to a parallel position. So you rotate open, and you rotate closed. Notice that your left leg isn't moving. All that's happening is you're rotating your pelvis around the head of your left femur bone. So you rotate open, and you rotate closed, yes. Two more like that. If you haven't already noticed, this should be pretty intense on your left leg. <laughs> Last one, I want you to open the pelvis and I want you to stay open this warrior two lunge. Keep driving down to that left heel and come really light on your right toes. Take a big breath in and as you exhale, slowly rise up for four, three, two, you got this. Take it down, two, three, four. Take a lift, two, into the thigh squeeze, take it down, two, three. Yes, so it's a slightly unusual position. It's really great for working the inner thighs. It's really great for getting a little bit more work into the outer glutes of the supporting leg. Go down, two, three. Shoulders over that front knee as you come down. Squeeze the inner thighs up, go down, two, three, four. Rise up, two, I want you to take this one down and hold it. Four, three, two, hold it there. Push that left heel. Yes, and just come up an inch, down an inch. Little lift, little lower, little up, little down. Now again, your hands can be wherever you find the best balance. If this is just too much balance, grab a chair. Or take a hand to a wall, it's totally fine. Four, three, two, stay low. Back right leg taps in, back right leg extends. You take it in, you take it, tap, pull it in. You reach it out, now you're still pulling that left hip bone back and driving to the left heel. Take it in. What I'm discovering is that these dish shawls are not very slidey. <laughs> I hope that you're having more success than I am. And reach for more, go in. And out, three more, go in. And reach, two more, pull it in. Reach out, last one, here's your holds. Extend the right leg out and hold. Draw the left hip back, push the left heel and then send your right toes out a few more inches. Yes, we're back on our backs. You do not need a slider or any weights. You're just gonna lay on your back on your mat. You're there in four, get lower. Left hip pulls back, go three, Go two, go back on your back, nothing needed. Lay down on your mat. The left foot is gonna be your anchor. Take a big breath in. As you exhale, tip the pubic bone towards the belly button, push through the heels and hover the seat just a few inches off your mat. Rib cage is still wrapping in and softening down to the floor. Come up to your right tippy toes. Push down through your left heel and really actively pull the left heel back towards the left glute. Inhale, exhale, float the right leg up to a tabletop position. Right toes tap the floor, right toes lift. Take a tap, take a lift. Now as you tap your right toes, perhaps you exhale. As a reminder to keep the abdominals wrapping in. Now your seat is hovering off of the floor and you're getting a ton of work into that left glute. Go four, and lift. You have three, and lift. 
two more, go tap, don't put any weight in it, lift it up, yes, last one, you're gonna hold that lift, big breath in, exhale, send that right leg out, inhale, pull it in, exhale, send it out, yes, inhale in, exhale, reach. So realistically, your right leg is doing all kinds of fancy stuff, I'm just trying to distract you from this isometric hold <laughs> on the left leg. Is it working? You have four. And reach. You have three. And reach. Two more. Pull it in. Reach it out. Last one. You're going to hold that extension with the right leg. You're going to lift your glutes. Go a little up. Little lift. Little lift. Push the left heel. And then maybe close your eyes. Soften your face. Soften your shoulders and try to find those long breaths. Inhale, exhale, 16, 15. You have a hold, you're almost there. This will be everything for that left side. Go eight, seven, six. You hold in four, three, two. Hold the lift, big breath in. Squeeze the inner thighs as you exhale. Lift the seat a little higher. Four, maybe your arms lift up. Three, you're here for two. Tap the seat down, hug the knees in, and give yourself a little rock. Whoo! We get to do all of that on our right leg. So take a minute, catch your breath, and find your way back up to stand. Now again, if you wanted to grab your weights and add some arm work, I'd love for you to do that. You're totally welcome to do that. I'm going to take my mat a little more out of the way again, taking it over here to the left side of my space, grabbing a slider. I'm going to try the other dish towel, see if it slides a little better this time, <laughs> and bring it underneath your left foot. Right foot's going to be on your mat. Anchor down to that right heel, and start by squaring your hips off. So this left hip is going to point towards the right side wall. Push down to the right heel, stand really tall, inhale. And as you exhale, you're gonna slide the left toes back. You're gonna hinge your torso forward so the shoulders stack directly over that front right knee. Now initiate this movement again by pushing down through your right heel first, and then slowly bring yourself all the way up to stand. Four counts like that. Go down. Two, three, four. Draw it up. Two, three, four. Take it down. Hinge the torso forward and squeeze to lift. Go slower than you want to on the way back up. Yes, down. Two, right hip pulls back. Inner thighs squeeze in towards each other. You take it down. Two, three, four, push through the heel and slowly rise up. Now this work, it can be really intense. There's a lot happening here. You're working the quadriceps, you're working the hamstrings, and you're working the glutes. You're also 100% working your balance as well. And so if you find that the only thing you're focused on is your balance, and you really can't get the burn and the heat building and the strength that you want in your legs, then grab a chair and hold on to it here with your right hand. Two more. Take it down. Two, three, four. Squeeze to lift. Two, three. Last one, take it down. Two, three, you're gonna hold low, pulling the right hip bone back. Drive through that right heel and come up an inch, down an inch. Little lift, little lower. It's up and down. So my shoulders continue to stack over this front knee. The reason we have that alignment here is it's gonna get you even more work into this front working leg, particularly into the glutes and into the hamstrings. So you're really working the back body here. 100% though. Quadriceps are working too. Up and down. Little lift, little lower. You have four, three, two. Stay low in that right leg. Left toes pull in. Left leg slides out, yeah. Go left knee in and left leg out. So as you take this movement with your left leg, it's not very different <laughs> than what is happening in your back dancing, your bridging position. It doesn't really matter what your left leg's doing. <laughs> I'm just trying to distract you from this isometric hold on your right leg. You have four, three, two. 
You're gonna hold that leg extended, the left leg extended. Take a big breath in. And as you exhale, your pelvis rotates open to the left. Right leg is not gonna move. Inhale, rotate your left hip bone back to square off to the right side wall. Exhale, rotate the pelvis open to the left. It's rotate close and rotate open. Go as slow as you need to really feel yourself anchoring down through the right leg here. So really nothing's changing in my right leg. I'm just rotating my pelvis and rotating it back. Three more. Now notice if you're gripping your right toes. Soften the toes, yes. Last time you're gonna hold that rotation open. You're gonna push down to that right heel. Again, this warrior two position. My shoulders are still stacked over this front right knee. Slowly, squeeze up for four, three, two. There it is, take it down for four, three, two, you got this. Squeeze it up, two, three, four. Take it down, two. So absolutely, balance is a thing here. You can look wherever you need to look to help find your balance here. So if that means looking at the floor and finding a spot that's not moving, then do that. If it means grabbing a chair, do that. Take it down. Two, three, four, take it lift. Two. Balance is 100% something that changes day by day, hour by hour. As you as your body changes, as you practice, yeah, your balance can get better, but there are still days where I have absolutely zero balance. <laughs> Hold it low. Stay low. It's just one inch, ready? Up an inch, down an inch. Little up, little down, driving through. That right heel to bring you a little up. Go a little up, little down. It's little up and little down. You have four, three, two, you're gonna stay low, the left toes, pull in, out, it's in, and out. Yes, press through the right heel. Feel the right inner thigh, pressing open here. You're laying back on your back. You have that short bridge series with this right leg. Four to your hold. Go three to a hold. Go two. Here's your hold for the standing position. Take a big breath in. And as you exhale, you just slide your left toes a few inches back. Push that right heel. You don't need any equipment. You're back on your back in four. Breathe, three. Right hip pulls back, two. That's it, lay back on your back. Right foot is going to be your anchor. Left foot's gonna lift. Big breath in. Big breath out. Push through your right heel. And hover your seat just a few inches off of your mat. Now from here, right heel is an anchor down into the floor. Float that left leg up to a tabletop position. Left toes tap, left toes lift. Take a tap, take a lift. If you want to go faster, by all means do so. Now as you tap the leg down, feel the sides of the waist hugging in. Feel the ribs wrapping in. And then see if you can keep your pelvis from dropping. So even though your left toes are tapping to the floor, your hips are not dropping with it. Four more. Exhale. Inhale. Three more. Go tap. And lift. Two more. It's tap. And lift. Last one. You're going to hold that lift. Use your exhale. Extend the left leg out. Pull it in. Send it out. Pull it in, yes. As you send that left leg out, push through your right heel and squeeze your right glute. Go, squeeze. Exhale, squeeze. Four more, go reach and pull. Three more, go reach and in. Last two. Now I'm going to extend that left leg long. I want you to hold it there and just lift a little up and little up and little lift. Pushing through the right heel and squeezing that right glute. Now notice if your rib cage is flaring open here, really soften the ribs so you're not arching the back. 
you're squeezing the glutes, go 16, 15. You can always take a hand to your glutes as a little reminder to fire up, you've got this. Go eight to a hold, seven, six. You're here for four, three, two, hold that lift, squeeze the inner thighs together. Big breath in. Exhale, pull the ribs down and we'll lift the seat up. You're here for four, you're here for three, you're here for two, tap the seat and hug the knees in. Ooh. We have a quick little center line finisher and then you're into your stretch, you're almost there. Rock and roll as you need, take a big breath. And as you exhale, find yourself flipping over onto the belly, high plank. If you wanna roll your mat out, feel free to do that. Hands are gonna come under the shoulders, extend the legs along behind you. This is it, it's gonna be really quick, I promise. Now, if you're like me, and you prefer to take push-ups on your knees, then by all means, drop your knees down. I'm gonna walk myself forward so my knees can be on my mat. And find your knees on the mat with your heels pulling into your seat. If you prefer a traditional push-up, do it. Now I want you to take your hands wide, maybe even wider than your mat. Now I want you to shift your heart slightly forward so that it's really your chest coming down between your thumbs. You're gonna lower two, three, four. You're gonna lift two, three, four. So it's a wide arm push-up. So as you lower down, your elbows are gonna be stacked directly over your wrist joints. Now one long line as you come down. So don't leave your butt behind. Don't lead with your chin. Find that your heart is leading the charge. Go down, two, three, four. Take a lift, two, three. Last one, take it down, two. I want you to hold it there and just go a little down, little up, little down, little up, little down. Feel the shoulder blades squeezing in towards center. Feel the chest working here. You're here for eight, seven, six, you're here for four, three, two, hold it. Soften the shoulders, lower one more inch and use your exhale to lift the belly. This is it, it's four, get lower. It's three, get lower. It's two, Ooh, child's pose, you made it, big toes together. Knees open as wide as it feels good for you, walk the hands forward, melt your forehead down into your mat. <sighs> Take a big inhale. Take a big exhale. Walk your hands up and over to the right, stacking your left palm on top of your right and pulling the left hip over to the left, really opening up along the whole left side of the body. Inhale. Exhale. Walk your hands up and over to the left. Right palm stacks on top of left and right hip draws back towards the right corner of the room. Letting yourself really lengthen to the right side of the body here. Inhale. Exhale. One more time, big breath in. Big breath out. Walk your hands back to center. Gently really walk yourself up to a seated position, but keep your legs in that same child's pose shape. You're gonna walk the right hand back behind you, sweep the left arm up and open up down that whole left side of the body, really opening up the left quadricep and the left oblique, inhale. Exhale. One more time, big breath in, lift the hips. Exhale. Lower the seat to the heels and switch sides. Left arm back, right arm reaches high, hips lift, and feel that big stretch in your right quadricep. Push down to the top of the right foot and lift that right hip bone higher, inhale. Exhale. One more time, big breath in, big breath out. Gently lower your seats and come to all fours. Flip the palms around so that the fingertips point back towards the knees 
and then gently shift your hips back towards your heels just slightly and feel that big stretch down the inseam of the forearm into the wrist joint. Inhale. And as you exhale, carefully rotate your fingers back to so face forward. Shift your shoulders over the wrists. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the gaze, lift the heart. And then exhale, round the spine, pressing the mat away and hollowing the belly. Keep going either like that in a traditional cat cow, or if you'd rather circle it or swing the hips or take a little more movement coming into an up dog and a child's pose, that's absolutely fine. Just take maybe three more breaths here. Last time, even yourself out. Meet me back in that neutral spine position. Gently walk back to a seat, whether that's cross-legged or on your knees, 100% up to you. Inhale, sweep the arms up. On your exhale, I want you to cactus the arms and lift the heart. If it feels better for you to take the fingertips back behind you, feel free to do that. Really opening the chest up to the sky. Inhale. Exhale, I want you to close the forearms in and round the spine. Spread the shoulders really wide. Inhale. As you exhale, let the arms drop. Roll yourself back up to a neutral position. Roll the shoulders away from the ears. You made it. Fantastic work today. As always, I love your feedback. I love your questions and your requests for future classes. Please don't hesitate to reach out and be on the lookout. I have a really fun four week spring challenge coming your way in April. So absolutely be on the lookout for more information about that and I hope that you